Prime Minister Dr. Kit Mitchell was among several regional leaders who attended the Caribbean Financial Access Roundtable, co-hosted by U.S. Congresswoman Maxine Waters, who is chair of the U.S. House Committee on Financial Services. The proposal for an annual U.S. Caribbean Banking Forum was generally supported by those in attendance. In his contribution to the discussions, Dr. Mitchell suggested an even broader annual initiative with a policymakers event in Washington engaging the Caribbean with financial services and security issues among the key issues on the agenda. I think what is necessary is a broader meeting of policymakers from the United States um, engaging the Caribbean on a, on a, on a yearly basis and um, so that we can, uh, we can in fact um, um, examine significant issues including the issues of the risk in and financial services in general and, and security matters that are so significant for the U.S. because of the closeness physically of our borders and for the region as a whole. Dr. Mitchell underscored the importance of banking and financial services on the economies of regional countries and on the social and economic life of Caribbean residents. I think one of the points of a race that I think is extremely important is specific reference made by the U.S. Virgin Island representative about how important is the question of remittances to the families in the region. Um, and, and when she was living in the United States and her family had to be sending uh, um, <laughs> some monies home and how important it was for the survival of her family and friends in, in, in the U.S. Virgin Island. So, and that's the same situation with many parts of the region. The Wrong Table was held against the backdrop of the challenges facing the region in the context of loss of correspondent banking relationships due to de-risking activities initiated by U.S. banks. One of the fundamental problems we've had with the U.S. authorities over the years is the fact that we claim to be close physically and otherwise but there's a perception of taking us for granted where decisions are made and handed down um, and af which affect the life of the people of the Caribbean region and not, no consultation at all has been held. And, um, and that sends a wrong message. The Caribbean leader and his regional colleagues complimented the U.S. Congresswoman for initiating the discussion and her general understanding of how decisions made by the United States can impact the governments and the people of the Caribbean. I am Gerard Joseph for GBN News.